Even though the media is saying that there is an enormous EV slowdown in the United States, the truth is that actually EVs will eventually take over. EVs are going to disrupt internal combustion engine vehicles regardless of Trump, regardless of the media, and regardless of the fossil fuel industry. But the question a lot of people want to know is, well, gas cars, how long will it take before they actually disappear from the roads, particularly in the United States? Well, here is when it's projected by experts when gas cars will start disappearing from every state in America or in the United States. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. So gas cars are disappearing. Yes, it's slow in the US, but it is happening. But the data shows it's happening before most people actually realize. There will be fewer gas-powered cars on the road in California next year than this year. And every year after that, in Colorado and Washington State, that tipping point actually will occur in 2026. Recurrent Auto says that when a state approaches 30% new EV sales, that's the tipping point for the number of gas cars on the road actually falling. So you can see here, California hit its gas car peak actually this year. So from now on, it's gonna be trending towards EVs. Recurrent Auto says it's a little counterintuitive that it's not 50% when that actually happens. Almost like one of those tricky logic problems on the SATs. And the catch is that a certain percentage of all cars on the road exit operation every year. They crash, uh, they wear out, uh, they have mechanical problems. And ultimately, that means 30% is actually the correct number. Here's how the math actually works. As a nation, the United States has 285 million cars on the road in operation today. Every year, there are 15 to 16 million new cars sold in the United States, while 12 million exit the roads prematurely. Since the vast majority, around 99% of the cars permanently exiting operation are gas-powered, we actually only have to get to 4 million new EV sales per year nationally before the number of gas cars begins its inexorable decline. That's because 16 million minus 12 million cars equals 4 million. Once EVs surpass that number, there'll be fewer gas cars added to the roads than there are actually leaving. Nationwide, that'll happen as early as 2029 despite new EV sales only being 30% in that year. But in a, on a state-by-state -state basis, peak gas car will happen much, much earlier. The implications to this trend are pretty wild. Revenue from gasoline sales and oil changes will begin to decline in many states in the next year or two. Revenue, I should just going to repeat that, from gasoline sales and oil changes. So car services, big problem, right? EVs don't really need to be serviced. Uh, that's going to cause a reduction in profits for legacy automakers. Gasoline sales, ExxonMobil, all these gas stations across the United States, they're going to see a decline in sales. They already probably are, actually, in fact. That's going to hurt their bottom line. For gas car drivers and owners, this shift means the infrastructure around their vehicles will start changing dramatically. So gas stations will become less profitable and may begin closing, especially in states that hit peak gas car earliest. Already California has more EV charging stations than gas stations, signaling what's ahead. Maintenance networks for gas cars may shrink as demand falls, potentially making repairs more expensive or harder to find. Used gas car values are likely to decline faster than expected as buyers increasingly prefer EVs in the future they will, while the resale market shifts towards electric vehicles. Gas car owners may find themselves driving an increasingly obsolete technology sooner than they expected. Now, this is information coming from Recurrent. They have no vested interest in electric cars whatsoever. They simply share data and facts. And looking at the actual data here from them, you can see here projected peaks 
for gas-powered vehicles on the road are um, much sooner than you'd think. I mean, having a look at it, you've got California 2025, which is not a big surprise, but even backwards Texas is 2030. Hawaii, 2028. Uh, Alaska, 2032. Florida, 2030. Uh, You've got many states across the United States actually hitting peak gas uh, before 2032. And then, of course, this transition to electric cars will probably be quite fast, a little bit like the switch to uh, smartphones or the switch to a new digital technology when the past one was analog. I kind of think of a little bit like when we used to use those analog watches, then we, we preferred now, you know, most people use digital watches. Some people still have their old school analog watches, but it's, they're pretty uncommon. So this shift will be very, very quick. And this, you know, this map, you'd look at it and think to yourself, well, they must be referring to China. Surely this is not the United States, but this is the data. The current have done the numbers and they're saying that most of the United States will actually hit peak gas and therefore shift towards EVs before 2032. Thanks for watching. A new study says that electric cars are, well, not dirtier than gasoline or or hydrogen cars. In fact, they are 73% cleaner. That includes the batteries. It doesn't include recycling the batteries though, which actually makes them probably about 100% cleaner. But anyway, here are the details of this latest study. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. Welcome to, well, the place where you can find out all the news about electric cars and hydrogen and everything that's going on in the renewable energy sector. Electric cars in Europe are proving to be much more climate friendly than petrol or gasoline powered cars. According to new findings from the International Council on Clean Transportation, ICCT. The ICCT does not make electric cars, does not profit from the sales of electric cars. They have no vested interests that I'm aware of whatsoever. The study shows that EVs sold today produce 73% fewer greenhouse gas emissions over their lifetime than internal combustion engine vehicles. That's a huge improvement from 2021 when the figure sat at 59%. The results confirm what many in the clean transport space have long said. EVs, not hybrids, are by far the most effective path to cutting emissions from passenger cars. Now, of course, Toyota was notified of this information, but they pretended it's all lies. According to Toyota, the only way for the world to become uh, have better air quality is to drive around in hybrids. Okay. Anyway. Cars are responsible for around 75% of the transport sector's emissions in the European Union, which is why some pretty big decarbonisation efforts are focused on going fully electric, of course, by 2035. Internal combustion will be banned in Europe. 